Good afternoon, everyone. Today we are talking about how to get that nicely pressed pocket square. So this look, uh, forgive me for the moment that there is no necktie or bow tie because a tuxedo like this definitely deserves one. But this look is very common, right? This is your black tie look. This is a beautiful tuxedo and a white dress shirt and therefore more often than not a nicely crisp and ironed uh, white pocket square. So a lot of times this look, you may see it and, and think, well, this is really great. How can I get it? And not realize that this pocket square has been given a little bit of special treatment to get that nice little quarter inch that's showing and no more, no less. And additionally, to get that really straight line across the top. We talk a lot about folding pocket squares and kind of interesting arrangements and a lot more uh, uniqueness and color and you know they're kind of coming out sometimes or you're having kind of a, um, a little puff. Uh, so there's different ways of doing that. We've done videos in the past. I'm sure we'll do more in the future. But one that we haven't done is a very, very standard and traditional and black tie look of just a very crisp and sophisticated white pocket square. So how do you get that? Let me show you. I will uh, switch views here and we'll take it out. I'll kind of show you behind the scenes of how you can get that nice look. All right, so here's the pocket square out of the pocket. And first and foremost, this is a real basic cotton. Now, more often than not, I'd probably use a white silk. And the principles I'm going to explain here would be the same, but you'd obviously want to treat silk a little bit different than you would uh, kind of more robust cotton fabric. But this is a standard pocket square and flipping it over here you see I've done a few things to it. So from this viewpoint, which is what you're going to see because you're going to see just that little bit coming out, uh, this is a very square and very organized looking pocket square. Flip it over and you see the first thing I've done is kind of made this little uh, fold here and this is sized for the depth of that pocket. So when this goes down through a little bit of trial and error I found that this is the right fold that when I'm kind of moving around and wearing the coat, it's not going to fall down because it's the right size. That can be kind of a common problem. If your pocket square isn't filling up the entire pocket, it has a tendency to kind of bounce down as you take steps and go about your day. So that's why this fold is where it is. And it could be different for you. I just kind of encourage you to play around with it and find out what that distance is for your particular uh, chest pocket geometry. So, Folding it open though, you'll notice that I more or less just, uh, you know, this isn't too, too fancy. So here's the full size of a pocket square. And you can see that even when I folded it over a couple uses, it's not completely lined up and perfect. It's gotten a little stretched uh, corner to corner. I've uh, worn this quite a bit and so it's no longer a perfect, perfect square. It's, you know, it's been through some use, which is perfectly okay. But what I did is I folded it twice such that I could get a width that was pretty darn close to the width of that chest pocket. And I didn't worry about having a little bit of overlap and not making it perfectly lined up. Uh, you can certainly try to, but something that I don't really concern myself too much on is getting the backside of it really perfect because you're not really going to see it. So I folded it a couple times and you'll notice that uh, you know it is a much larger pocket square. It's a regular size. And this actually came rolled up. Um, it, it was rolled up uh, very tightly. And so a lot of them that kind of come in that, uh, again, it was kind of a, a cotton pocket square. You'll, you'll see it purchased that way. A silk pocket square, usually not. But as an example of kind of a tough one to work with, this was rolled up and then I arranged it and ironed it on the ironing board uh, to kind of get these folds. Now, I didn't, uh, I think I'll show you in the future how I actually ironed it uh, when I have some help here with the video. But for purposes of this video today, bear with me and realize that when I did iron it, it is cotton, so it can take some heat, but at the same time, you wanna be a little bit careful because you don't want to kind of brown uh, the edges and that's probably gonna ruin your pocket square. So I folded it twice and then folded it once more to get that right geometry that right fits and then would iron this to kind of keep this from falling back and so that is how the finished product is going to come out where it is a very crisp and very square pocket square right here 
This is not something that is usually going to be natural. You're going to have to kind of work at it to shape it and make it look right for your instance and your uh, occasion and your tuxedo or suit jacket, whatever it may be. But it's very, very easy to do. And I think once you do it and realize that you can get that really nice looking quarter inch of a pocket square showing, it's a really cool thing that can instantly set you apart from the crowd and certainly help you become the best dressed version of yourself. And it's not expensive, it's not complicated, it just takes a little bit of effort and ironing board. Does that help? Hopefully that kind of uh, give, gave you guys a little of an inspiration to wear a pocket square if you don't wear one already, and then how you can wear a really rocking white pocket square for kind of those traditional black tie events. All right guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate the attention as always. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. More good stuff coming and we'll do a handful of pocket square uh, kind of folding videos in the future and cover some fun and interesting stuff. So stay tuned.